In Memoirs of a Geisha, we were introduced to a nine-year-old girl named Chio. Chio grew up in Yoroido, Japan. When Chio's mother is suffering from cancer, she is sent down to the village to receive her mother a new robe. While running down to the village, she falls and knocks herself unconscious. When she awakens, she is greeted by Mr. Tanaka, who later on makes a deal with her father to sell her to, off to an okaya. An okaya is a boarding house for geishas. After years of being in the okaya, she finally decides that she would like to be a geisha in order to meet kinder men. She goes under the wing of Ma Mia and changes her name to Sayori. The author of Memoirs of a Geisha is Arthur Golden. I believe him to be very reliable due to the fact that he has a degree from Harvard in art history and is specializing in Japanese art history, and that he went to the University of Columbia, got an MA for Japanese history. I believe Memoirs of a Geisha is a beautiful book with its imagery, especially when they are describing the mother's death as if an ocean has been drawn out of her. Though I believe its weakness would be drawing out scenes too much. I got easily bored and I got through 100 pages. Though I do find it as a good read because I am very interested in this culture. Memoirs of a Geisha is a historical fiction that has two historical contexts to it. One of them being the time frame. 1920s in Japan was an economic job, and you can see this shown in the book when they mention the Americans trying to force the Okewa into bankruptcy. Another historical event was World War II, when the government told the Geishas to get out there and participate in the war, aka to at least help. 